What is going on guys? It's Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's episode, I've got another unboxing for you guys. This is yet another five inch quad from RC Groups. And I picked this one up, it was quite the steal. I'm not gonna, you know, reveal anything about the user or the price or anything like that, but let's just go ahead and see what's inside here. Um, so it feels like, oh, we got props on. That's kind of rare. Um, definitely an interesting box to ship a quad in. I mean, I guess it fits on this slimmer frame, um, but the previous owner elected to ship it with props on. Um, definitely probably could have gotten away with a smaller box in that case, but either way, um, then it looks like we also got some props. Is that everything in there? Ooh, we got quite a few other little things. I don't know if they're all, like, they're all gonna come out or not or what. Looks like we got a voltage tester. We got a gem fan sticker. Um, looks like we've got uh, some more of these little rubber uh, or foam little bottom uh, bumpers there, uh, which are always much appreciated, especially on these top mount quads here. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the components on this build here. Of course, the frame is the Armaton Chameleon. Um, if you know anything about Armaton quads, they're known for their high quality and their customer service. And of course, this is just such a really neat frame um, altogether. Uh, it is expensive, it's a $100 frame, so no complaints there as well. Um, and I know I'm gonna get a good quality product and lasting results with durability. Um, so yeah, it also does have this aluminum cage up front for the camera um, and the adjustable angle for the GoPro, uh, which I always thought was an appealing um, kind of feature of the Chameleon here. And I'm really glad that I finally got to own one. Um, but anyway, as you can see on the motors here, these are also from Armaton. These are 2306 motors uh, with the 2300 kV um, rating there as well. And as you can see, of course, we also do have these screw in um, prop mounting, which is a little bit different. I don't, not totally sure how I feel about that. Um, but it might be more convenient than getting the prop wrench out every single time. However, of course, all my other quads have prop wrenches. So I guess I'm, I'm not totally sure. I'm kind of indifferent at this point. On the camera up front here is the Foxeer. Um, I'm not totally sure what model it is, but it's a Foxeer camera. Nice, genuine, um, high quality piece of equipment there. Uh, I don't know anything about the ESCs um, or the video transmitter. I know the board is an F4 and it looks like we've got a power distribution board uh, below it there as well. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it on here. I believe the stock props are shipped with our, uh, um, it looks like their HQ V1S uh, 4.8 inch pitch um, props. And those are really nice. I really like this color actually. I think it kind of meshes with this burnt orange. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely go ahead and see how the motor temps are doing on here. We might even upgrade the pitch just because 2300 KB is a little bit low, um, especially on the 4S builds. Um, so other than that, I mean, you know, nothing really to complain about. And of course we have a spectrum receiver mounted down below, um, which is really nice that that's all set up. I'm planning to fly spectrum. All my other quads are spectrum at the moment. Uh, that might be changing soon, but that's going to be really nice. It's going to fit right into my configurations and things like that on there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the quad. The only thing I haven't covered is that this is a just a typical pagoda antenna here looks like it's kind of beat up so i might have to switch it out for something else um just because as you can see we don't have the heat shrink tubing around the top and this is just loose and all together but nice thing about the chameleon is that the motors are kind of squished in here so it's pretty hard uh, for this antenna to get into your props so again i'm not totally sure what's going to happen uh, with that so we got our voltage tester right here nice little accessory then we've got some gem fan props not totally sure what these are let's see if i can see them through the packaging here they are five inches of course um doesn't say on the blades uh looks like you know i'm not, I'm not I, got, I can't really say oh 50 45 is right there so 4.5 inch pitch that we could use for these or you know obviously like other planes or anything that i use on this channel uh can definitely benefit from the gem pen props um besides a sticker and a few other things that's about it um on this build so yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing all configured i've got my mac right here that we can go ahead and run beta flight on we're gonna plug this thing in we're gonna get it all configured my radio master tx 16s and i'm just gonna go ahead and get it done and then i'll kind of talk to you guys after we got that all ready to go all right, guys, so we went ahead and got the Chameleon all set up, and as I expected, it was a very, very easy beta flight procedure. Um, with that Spectrum receiver pre-installed, all I had to do was go ahead and bind it up to my radio, um, and then, of course, all the other settings in the configurations tab of the beta flight configurator were all ready to go, just adjusted the beeper to my liking, um, and a few other little settings like the PIDs, the rate profile settings, and the midpoints, endpoints, things like that. Got all my switches set up like I normally do. Um, but other than that, I mean, pretty guest-free. There wasn't any um, issues getting this thing to arm, as you'll see in a minute. 
Um, one thing that I did notice with this build uh, was this problem right here. You can see we have the video transmitter outside of the um, actual quad right now. This is an Armaton uh, transmitter, 800 milliwatts. That's nice. However, as you can see here, looks like we've got an issue um, because this stem was just hanging out inside the chassis or the uh, frame there. Uh, so that's a problem. Obviously, that means that we're not going to be able to use this um, because we don't have an antenna on it. Um, so that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to get a new video transmitter, but hey, you know, I really can't complain. Looks like this was an Armaton pre-built. Um, we obviously have the Armaton motors, some probably some sort of Armaton ESCs, uh, but that really kind of confirms it because it is one of their house brand VTXs there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to get a new video transmitter before we can do FPV with this. However, um, being that it's unplugged, of course, it's safe to go ahead and hover there as well. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and get right back into this. I've got the GoPro Hero 3 Plus all mounted up to the front here. As you can see, um, um, it is zip tied on there and it's very, very secure, nice and tight, just how I like it. Um, one thing that you guys might debate, and I actually used to just run Velcro straps on my GoPros. However, I recently switched to zip ties just because um, these hold it on a lot tighter, but they also break in a crash rather than flexing. Uh, so the camera's gonna break and fly off, which is all good with me. Um, usually that will um, save it from some of the shock if it'll just break and fly off and I can go get it out of the grass later. Um, so yeah, I like that. And of course, like I said, it holds on a lot. Lot firmer than the velcro straps do um so yeah and then the other thing uh, that i'm gonna talk about is my battery here this is an ovonic 1550 adc four cell pack right here so this is a four cell setup of course um right here and you can see we got the xc60 that i'll go ahead and match right up there as well um so other than that that's about it of course i went ahead and i got some antenna tubing on there as well with the heat shrink and zip tie method um and it looks really good um all together i'm just really really loving this thing overall um last thing i did was i went ahead and put on some foam uh, landing pads just like that uh, obviously they were included so no reason to not add them onto uh, the bottom of this quad so let's go ahead and get this thing all plugged in i'll show you guys that it arms here we've got it on uh we got to select the model here so we're going to be in the dsmx quad this is a spectrum receiver and we're going to go ahead and set all our switches properly let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in here um just like so i love the wires are routed very nicely on here so you can see that tones are all over the place, but that's not really a big deal. Um, so on here, we've got a pre-arm all set up uh, just like that. And then I've got my arm switch. We've got my flight modes. Um, so crash flip mode, angle mode, acro mode. We're good to go. And my arm is right here as well. So let's go ahead and arm it. So you can hear that right there. Our motors are all armed up and we are ready to fly here. Um, you can see if I go ahead and start messing with things, it's obviously going to take off there. I'm going to disarm in that sense um because obviously i don't really want to fly in here uh but yeah really excited for that looks like these motors bearings aren't quite in the best shape but they still do feel very smooth um so i think that we're in the good uh condition for the moment but i might have to keep tabs on that as well so let's go ahead um get this thing up in the air i'm gonna head out to the backyard for a hover test all right guys, so it's the next day and we're out here for the hover test of the Armaton Chameleon. Just like you saw it in the last clip, we've got that Ovonic 1554 cell ADC pack on there and the GoPro for weight. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much all we can do right now, like I said, with that video transmitter, but I've got a Race Day Quads Mach 3 um, on order there. So that should be here in the next few days and I'll get a video published flying FPV with this thing. But for right now, let's go ahead and get this thing armed and we're gonna take it up into the sky. Hovering right about 40% throttle. It's a little bit um, of a more floaty build. I can kind of feel that. Looks pretty well tuned actually. Pretty snappy. Um, I might have to up the D gains a little bit just to kind of uh, take the little micro jitters out of it. Um, it doesn't really seem like there's any oscillations, but it kind of snaps around at the end of your flips and rolls. So, um, and also that'll kind of make it a little bit more floaty and smooth, which is how I like my Schizonova builds. So if I do that, I think that might improve the flight characteristics just a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's do a little punch out here and see how well this thing flies. Okay, so. Flies pretty well, it's pretty bright out there. I didn't bring any sunglasses or anything. Um, so I'm pretty, Pretty happy with that. These motors seem to be handling um, it pretty well despite their low KV rating. It just has that slightest little snap at the end of the flip. You might be able to hear it. it just doesn't feel as smooth as it could be. It'll be interesting to see what that looks like through the FPV camera, but of course, 
We gotta wait on that a little bit. So yeah, overall, really, really happy with how this thing is flying, of course. I mean, any quad that doesn't crash is a, is a win for me. We just gotta do a little bit of tuning on here, and she'll be ready to go. Even with that GoPro and that larger four cell battery, this thing still handles the weight really well. Uh, I would say even a little bit better than the uh, Nova did. Maybe just a little bit more powerful, but yeah, overall, really, really happy for this. Um, it's gonna be a great build, I think, um, to be flying around and getting some HD footage. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. Let's go ahead and land this thing. Don't think I'm gonna get it back on the frisbee there. Um, that's one thing about bottom mount quads is they can't really take out of the grass that easily. <laughs> It's, it's kind of always a little bit of a toss-up. But anyway, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have any more questions about this build or anything about RC in general, make sure to go ahead and comment down below, and I'll address those as soon as I can. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.